Hey guys, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and today I've got a special video to help you relieve your low back pain. So I know that's a problem for a lot of people out there, especially those of you that are driving a lot or spending a lot of time sitting and working at your computer. Low back pain is a problem that a lot of people face. So there's some simple stretches and things that you can do to help take care of that low back pain. And so I'm gonna show you some things today. Go ahead and like this video and you can add it to your favorites. So you can come back and practice with me again. And we are going to get started on your mat. We're gonna start in a tabletop position. So we'll go ahead and move into our beginning position and start to relieve your back pain right now. All right, so we're coming into hands and knees, tabletop position. You wanna bring your hips in line over your knees and your shoulders in line over your wrists. So you have a nice stable foundation here. Then we're moving into a little cat and cow pose. So as you inhale your breath, you're gonna stretch your rib cage forward between your arms and stretch your sitting bones up to the sky. So you get a nice big deep arch in your spine and even feel your belly muscles start to stretch long. So this is your breath in, stretching your belly. Then as you exhale, round your spine, scoop your belly in, and stretch your spine up to the sky. So you're tucking your chin into your chest and dropping your tailbone down. You can even press into the floor to help you really stretch your spine up to the sky. Then as you inhale again, we're gonna reverse that action. Stretch your rib cage forward, tip your sitting bones to the sky. You can even lift your gaze and open your throat so your whole front body is stretching. Then exhale, round your spine, Scooping your belly in, you can drop your tailbone down and press your spine up to the sky. Then we reverse again. Inhale, open through your chest. If you notice that your shoulders wanna shrug up to your ears, try and lengthen your spine. Lift your neck up so it's nice and long. Stretch your belly and roll your shoulder blades down your spine. Then exhale and round, scooping your belly in. So we'll just do this a couple more times. Inhale, open through your chest, open through your front body, tip your pelvis to the sky. Exhale and round. So you stretch your spine the other way. Last time like this, inhale, And exhale. And then coming back to neutral, we're gonna go ahead and make your way to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes underneath you and lift your hips up towards the sky. And you can have a little bit shorter posture Normally in downward facing dog, I really encourage you to have a lot of space between your hands and your feet. But for our purposes today, it's all right if your hands and feet are a little bit closer together. Because for this next stretch, I want you to shift all of your weight into your left hand. You're gonna bring your right hand back and through towards the outside of your left ankle you're taking a little twist. Then slowly unwind, placing your hand back down to the mat. And then we'll go to the other side, bringing your left arm down and through around to the outside of your right ankle and use your arm to help pull your chest around as you twist underneath your right armpit. So you're getting a little twist through your whole spine and definitely feeling a little stretch as you twist through your low back here. 
Then slowly come back to center, placing both hands down. And take a couple of deep breaths here in your downward facing dog. And start to walk your feet forward so that you come to a forward fold standing at the top of your mat. You can take your time as you walk your feet forward. And you can also let your feet be hip distance or maybe even a little bit wider apart. I find that my forward fold becomes a little bit easier when my feet are spread a little bit wider apart. So you can find the position that suits your body the best. And as you fold over your legs, you can start to shift your weight side to side, and stretch through the backs of your hamstrings and maybe across the tops of your hips here. And for some of you will already start to feel a stretch in your low back. So oftentimes low back pain can be a result of tight hamstrings. So you wouldn't necessarily put the two together, but they are definitely related. So when your hamstrings get very tight, it pulls your pelvis out of alignment and automatically starts to compromise your low back. So we just take a little time here to stretch open the backs of your legs. You can also take opposite elbows here. So this adds a little bit of weight to your posture. So your arms dangle from the shoulder sockets and you can feel your upper body start to relax over your legs just a little bit more. And just to take this one more step into the low back, I want you to start to twist and sway your upper body right and left a few times. So you can go nice and easy. You don't have to go fast. You want to be mindful of your movements as you sway your body side to side. But you're going to start to feel a little stretching across the low back as you reach your edge from right to left. So we'll just do this swaying motion a couple more times. Right and left, right and left. And then we'll slowly start to make your way back to center, just folding over your legs for another moment. We're gonna move into a squat. So lift your heart up and go ahead and rotate your feet 45 degrees. Now, if you know your hips are very tight, you're probably going to want to take a little bit wider stance on your mat. And then we're going to bend your knees and start to lower your hips down towards the floor. So again, if your hips are really tight, uh, you may not be able to get your hips very low. It's okay. Just breathe right where you are. Slowly, over time, you'll be able to sink those hips a little bit lower. And then, over even more time, you'll be able to start bringing your feet a little bit closer together. So we're in this nice yogi squat here. Bring the palms of your hands together and your elbows come to the insides of your knees. Press your palms together so that you start to press your elbows into your knees. This is really gonna get your hips nice and open. Then lift your heart up so you lengthen your spine as you twist, or lengthen and, and stretch your hips open here. But we are gonna twist right now. It's gonna be great. So bring your right hand down onto the floor. Reach it way around to the outside. Then you can bring your left hand onto your left knee, or you can extend your hand up to the sky, whatever feels best for your body. We're gonna take a little twist here, rotating your heart towards the left side. And then we'll come the other way. Come back through center, then bring that left hand all the way around out in front of you and then bring your right hand to your knee 
Or if you like, you can just twist with your arm open so you find whatever works best for you. If you have your hand on your knee, you can use that to kind of press the right knee away so you're still getting a little stretch in the hip as well. So it's just up to you what's serving your body the best for today. Be gentle with yourself and loving and compassionate to your body. And then we'll come back to the center. Go ahead and lift your hips up. You can turn your feet parallel and fold over your legs again. And then we're gonna make our way into pigeon pose. So go ahead and come down onto your knees. And you're gonna bring, we're gonna start with the right leg. That front shin is gonna come parallel to the front edge of your mat. So, I'm gonna start by setting it up this way, bringing the ankle in front of your left shoulder and your knee will come in front of your right shoulder. So we're trying to line that up, bringing the shin all the way down. Then slowly you start to work your left leg back behind you. Now if your hips are very tight, you may need to use your hands on the floor to keep your hips elevated. You want to try and keep your hips square in front of you, not just sinking off to the side here. This isn't really doing anything for you. We got to work a little harder than that. <laughs> so you got to push up so that your body weight helps drop you down and it's going to stretch that outer hip, which again is related to the low back. So you got to stretch the whole region. Just take your time, breathe your breath. This is a pretty big pose and I know for a lot of you out there it's going to seem impossible, but if you just take your time and work into it slowly, you're going to be able to see a lot of progress over time. So just be patient with yourself. Breathe your breath. Stay with your posture. Stay with your practice. So We're going to go ahead and come out of our pose in a nice easy way. Just shift your weight over onto your right hip. And you're going to bring that left leg all the way around. Step your foot to the outside of your right leg. And now we're going to twist. Bring that right arm around to hug your knee in close. Then bring your left fingertips behind you and twist towards the left. Keep sitting up tall, creating more and more space in your spine as you lift. You can even turn your gaze over your left shoulder so this twist is moving all the way through the top of your head, feeling that inner spiral around your entire spine. And then we'll slowly come back to the front. And now you're going to bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart wide. All right, so coming to a little butterfly pose here. Let your knees gently and easily fall open to the sides. Then we can take a big breath in as you lift up tall and exhale slowly as you start to fold forward over your legs. For some of you, you may be able to fold and your head might come all the way down to the floor. For others of you that are very tight, you may not be able to fold very deep at all. It's no problem. You don't have to worry about how far you go. We're really tuning in more to the sensation of the stretch. So wherever you're feeling this stretch, send your awareness to that place. And there may even be a few places that you feel it. Like I'm feeling a stretch in my inner thighs, also in my outer hips, and I feel a stretch along my spine. So there's a lot going on here in this pose. Just stay focused with your breath and stay present with the sensations you feel in your body. Then we'll slowly come up. And we're gonna to move to that pigeon pose on the second side. So from here, how do we transition? Well, we're gonna line up that front shin. So you're starting with your left leg. You're gonna bring your shin parallel to the front edge of your mat or 
parallel to your shoulders. And then the right leg is gonna come back behind you. But remember, we can't stay here. We gotta lift those hips up and over. So bring your hands down to press yourself up. <clears throat> so for those of you that have a lot of tension, this might be it for you today. It's no problem, it's all good right where you are. But slowly, slowly, we're starting to work that back leg further back until eventually your hips will come down towards the ground. So wherever you are today, just breathe your breath and work with your pose and honor your body right where you are today. Today is your day, this is your moment. You're perfect right where you are. So just breathe and find that loving, compassionate acceptance of this moment is perfect exactly as it is. I'm here with my body, stretching and breathing. And then we're gonna make a twist. So you can shift your weight back onto that left hip and then slowly start to bring your right leg around and place your foot flat down on the floor to the outside of your left thigh. <clears throat> Twisting towards the right, wrap your arm around your right knee and squeeze it in towards your shoulder. You can bring your right hand down behind you to help you lift up, grow tall out of your spine as you twist your heart open towards the right side. Rotate your gaze all the way over your right shoulder so you get a twist all the way through your neck, through your whole spine from bottom to top. And then slowly and gently we return back to center. And we're gonna come back into our Baddha Konasana, that butterfly pose again, bringing your feet together and your knees wide. See if it feels any different this time, the second time around. Inhale as you lift up and grow tall in your spine. Then exhale as you fold forward over your legs. Remember that you don't need to make a judgment on your posture. It doesn't matter how far forward you fold. It's really more important to just tune into the sensation of the stretch. Feel into your body. And notice if this second time around, if you can fold just a little bit deeper. And then press yourself back up, all the way up, sitting with a nice tall spine. And then we're gonna go ahead and come down onto your back. So from here, bring your feet together and your knees up to the sky. Open your arms out to the sides. Then we're gonna lower both knees over to the left side, taking a little twist in your spine. If it's helpful, you can bring your left hand across and place it on top of your right leg. If that helps you feel more stable in your twist. So you can just breathe here and let yourself settle into this twist, nice and easy. Hmm. And then we'll slowly begin to make our way to the second side. You can bring your knees back up through center 
and then slowly lower both knees over to the right. So we're twisting to the opposite direction. Again, you can use your right hand if that's helpful. Placing your hand on top of your left thigh just gives you a little added weight or a little assistance in the twist. Feel your breath as it starts to slow down. And really tune in your awareness to even the most subtle of feelings in your body. And then we return to center, coming all the way back. All right, here before we finish our practice today, we're gonna do legs up the wall. So you can simply stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. And as best you can, you wanna bring your knees straight. If your hamstrings are still tight and you can't fully straighten your knees here, you can bend your knees a little bit. You can also use a block or a blanket or pillow up underneath your hips. That can give you just a little bit extra space to extend your legs all the way. You can also come directly up against the wall and nestle your hips up against the wall so that you actually have the wall there to support your legs. So there's a few different ways you can work this posture in your favor. But if you do have the flexibility to just lift your legs straight up to the sky directly where you are, then this is an excellent time to give you a little uh, static contraction in your abdominals. So this creates a stabilizing effect. This is gonna help build your inner core strength to support your low back. It's also allowing the weight of your legs to drop down into your pelvis. So this is grounding through the femur bones, grounding through your sacrum, releasing pressure in the SI joint and releasing pressure in the low back. So we're using gravity as your friend, gravity as your helper, letting the weight of your legs drop down towards the earth to help create more spaciousness and more opening through your low back and the SI joints. At the same time, building a little strength in your core. So legs up the wall is a super good pose, really restorative, um, an awesome, awesome posture to practice. So I definitely recommend this one if you're having low back pain. So you can practice this in your bed in the morning or in the evening before you go to sleep or any time that you think of it, legs up the wall is gonna be your best friend. And now we can bend your knees into your chest, just letting your legs relax. Hug your knees in towards your chest, and this can also have a very soothing effect for the low back. And then you can take a few minutes to rest in your Shavasana, extending your legs down to the end of your mat. And let your palms rotate up to the sky as you close your eyes. And drop your awareness into your breath. Feel all of the muscles in your body relaxing releasing any tension. Even allow yourself to let go of mental tension. So whatever has been racing through your mind, whatever things have been stressing you out, uh, you know, those things might still be going on, but for now, just for right now, you can let it go.
and just be with your body and just be with your breath and appreciate your body, appreciate your breath. And I invite you to give yourself permission to stay here and relax, like really as long as you feel that you need to. There's no rush. Just be with this moment. And when you do feel ready to come out Extend your arms overhead. Reach through your fingertips all the way down to your toe tips. And you can roll yourself over onto one side. Just making your way to a comfortable fetal position. And from here you can press yourself up, coming to a seated position. So you can pause here and just feel into your body. Notice how you feel. And I'm feeling so happy and grateful that I can share these techniques with you. I hope that after this little practice that your low back is feeling better already. I have lots of other great videos that I've filmed with exercises to reduce your low back pain, so you can check out those as well. If you're still having some tightness and some tension, I definitely recommend continuing your practice. So the more often you can practice, the more you're going to notice results in relieving that tension and that pain in your low back and your mid back, your upper back. So just hang in there. Stick with the practice. It will really make a big difference for you. And if you haven't subscribed to Yoga TX, you should go ahead and do that because I'm putting out new videos every Thursday, lots of great content coming out to you all the time to help keep you fit and feeling good. So subscribe to Yoga TX so you can get all those goodies. You can also visit yogatx.org where we've got some full length videos for sale that you can download directly to your computer and have a more full length practice. And you can also visit my website, jenhillman.com where I have information about upcoming workshops and retreats so you can come and practice with me in person I would love to meet you and share with you personally. So thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends, leave your comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I look forward to sharing more with you again next time. Namaste.